Hey, any fash. 8th of December, 2022. I do pray you're well. I sincerely do. This is uh, something that just came across and was put upon me to share with you. Uh, it seems that the world is preparing for a possible triple demic. We're not out of the woods. The threat is real. Did a simple search just for today on triple demic. And yeah, it's being squawked worldwide. The warning of the triple demic, particularly here in the United States. The reason I'm making this video is because just uh, ironically enough, and this is how it works, Holy Spirit just put this video in front of me from Chuck Middleton, who puts up very interesting stuff all the time. I will leave a link, good brother, and he put up a video. They just make this shit up as they go. And they're talking about last year when they were talking about the twin demic. And now, this year, it's the triple-demic. So, I'll leave all this stuff, and you can look at it for yourself. This is uh, New York here. I haven't looked at this one yet. You probably know someone who's sick right now. That's right. I was right. I was doing that a couple nights ago. Uh, no, I don't know anyone that's sick right now. As RSV remains a top concern, and we can't forget about COVID. We, we can't forget about COVID. As we know, this is part of their sorceries, of which they obviously refuse to repent. They repented not of their sorceries. This is moving forward, you guys, and to me, I believe the WHO treaty is going to come into play. It's going to basically form the, the agreement with many that we see in the Bible and unleash uh, a whole new system of the way they combat these types of things. Bill Gates shared all of that with us, how they plan on tackling the next pandemic. We all want to return to the way things were before COVID-19. But there's one area where I hope we never go back, our complacency about pandemics. We can get ahead of infectious disease outbreaks. By the next pandemic, by the next pandemic, I believe we can have what I call mega testing diagnostic platforms. They can be deployed quickly, cost very little, and test 20% of the entire population every week. We also want to get treatments out far faster next time. I also think that we'll develop new vaccines quickly, in large part due to this new mRNA platform. mRNA will become faster to develop, easier to store, and lower cost. That's a huge breakthrough. To stop future pandemics quickly, we need to be able to spot disease outbreaks as soon as they happen anywhere in the world. And that requires a global alert system. If there turns out to be some new infectious pathogen, then we need a group of infectious disease responders to spring into action. Think of these as like pandemic firefighters. They're gonna use their logistics, use their ability to build up capacity quickly. They're gonna go wherever that problem is. Stopping the next pandemic will require a big investment. But I think of this as the best insurance policy the world could buy. And it may be here sooner than we think. So I pray that you are prepared thoroughly, spiritually, first and foremost. I haven't been making videos because, to me, it's all out there. I'm here to warn you that if you're not under the blood of Jesus Christ and believe what he did at the cross to cover your sins with his blood, you're going to be in a world of hurt here very very shortly. So call on him with a sincere and humble heart. He will reveal himself to you. It's a real thing, people. So you need to get to it. Because this is what's going on, man. There's sorceries. You know what I'm saying? Neither repented they of their murders, nor of their sorceries. In fact, now they are tripling down, nor of their fornication, nor of their thefts. Tell me this doesn't describe the world 
right now to a T. It's coming, people. It's upon us. I'm looking at around the Hanukkah period between like the 18th and the 26th of December. Uh, it's just insane. I don't know. I'm just here to warn you, like I said. Seek Jesus with all your heart and all your soul and all your strength. Here's a little bit of Chuck's video. Link in the description. God bless y'all. Peace and grace to each and every one of you. Many fish. Twin dynamic is exactly how it sounds. It's essentially the confluence of two different infectious disease outbreaks occurring at the same time. This holler, bullshit, and let it ring through the land. The epidemic, but after many months now, we're all too familiar, familiar with the word pandemic. Now, health experts are warning about it's what they're calling a twindemic. And I'm health expert Dr. Pyle Coley joins us to tell us more about what that is. So let's get right to it. What is a twindemic and why is this so concerning? So Tom, a twindemic is exactly how it sounds. It's essentially the confluence of two different infectious disease outbreaks occurring at the same time. And in this case, we're talking about influenza and the... I want to ask you more, but is twindemic a new word? Did we just make this up, or have we experienced or used the term twindemic in the past? As far as I know, I think it's made up. Last year, health experts warned parents about the potential for a twindemic. You remember this? <laughs> flu and how they thought that those case, cases would rise during the winter. Well, now as families prepare for more holiday time together, the threat of a triple a triple demic remains. Here's about a so-called triple demic with hospitals nationwide filling with flu RSV patients. Faith Abube is in Burbank, California with the latest for us. Good morning, Faith. Officials were urging everyone to get their flu shots and <laughs> right now. I triple dog dare you. Of Americans traveling and gathering for the holiday. There's growing worry about what's being called a triple demic. What's being called a triple demic? Kind of work you got to keep repeating things over and over and over again for the truth to sink in. Got to catapult the propaganda. Got to catapult the propaganda. What a big story! Yeah. <laughs> Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God.